we're going to talk about the uh, pickoff pull cutoff operation or the POCO event here. And the pickoff pull cutoff operation within Mastercam is automated to actually have the, the chuck open up the bar stock advance forward, chuck clamp down, spindle, sub spindle advance forward, and then the cutoff tool will actually come in and part it off and have the sub spindle retract back to the home location. And inside of this file here, you notice that I already have the ID board and everything just as we did before. But we're going to take a look at the stock setup that we have here. Now again, you notice that I'm not using the right spindle stock. There's, there's no definition here. I'm letting Mastercam migrate everything over to my sub spindle as we do the uh, stock transfers to the right spindle. But I still have my right spindle defined. If I was to look at this inside of my properties, you see I still got the 15 inches and the 4 inch diameter. Now inside of the left spindle for our stock, I did make some adjustments to this here and I do have a 30 inch margin for our bar stock behind our part. What we're going to do here is utilize that part handling operation for the pick off pull cutoff operation. And right off the bat, you notice the operations to program at the top. I could do a pick off cutoff, I could do a pick off, or a simple bar pull as well. In this case, I actually want to part it off and leave my main spindle with stock in order to recreate another part and get a, uh, a, a nice cycle going between my main spindle and my sub spindle. I do, however, in this case, want to select my geometry that I want to transfer over. I'm going to translate this over to, uh, well, by default says 100, so I'll keep it 100. Now keep it 100. Next, I can create a spindle name view and I can also generate a pickoff spindle stock if I like to. What we see here is we have the view name, spindle view, left, uh, left face, and then my right face. I'm going to go ahead and select my left face. We're going to go to the lathe finish part. And what you'll notice here is what it's looking for. So if I say from geometry, it's picking up my overall length. This is going to come from my model. Mind you, this is also coming from that stock setup that we created. If I was to say Z pickoff, Mastercam is going to want to know where I am picking off from. And in this case, I'll use the previous quadrant point and let it pick off from negative 3.73074. My cutoff width, if I know the cutoff width, I could put it in here or I can also click and go select my cutoff tool, which will populate the same field anyway. For my X coordinate, I could say from stock, my face stock that I want to leave behind for my main spindle, I could tell it 100 thousandths. And notice how it populates this automatically based off of what I've had in my stock setup as well. My back face stock, automatically populated 30. I'm going to go ahead and say maybe I only want 20 thou on that back face. And I'm going to green check OK. Inside of our toolpath manager, you notice Mastercam has automated this process for that pick off pull cutoff. If I was to put this in my top view and we could step through it, we could actually see the process, our jaw opens, clamps, pulls the bar stock, gets parted off, and then retracts back to the subspindle home location.